We got Don Trey Hamilton, Alvin Cole. Oh, jeez. Uh, I, I, I mean, I really could go on. I don't really want to just sit here and start naming names. So good morning. Good afternoon, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, your minister of soul. DJ. And when I say so, I mean down in your soul. I want to speak to the soul. Just let your soul know. Listen, y'all. Um, sometimes I had to laugh to keep from crying, but we are in the middle of a of anarchy. Uh and I don't know how many of y'all uh are really aware of that. Those who know, know. Uh, I really, though, really wish that in terms of some of this violence that is happening on the planet, I really wish our leadership uh, had a soul because if he did, then um, semblances uh, of the resemblances of what we're seeing wouldn't be as bad as it is. You know, in terms of not only the Proud Boys and these other groups trying to, you know, overtake governments and things of that nature, running around in the state capital with long guns, it's all um, a pretty sad state for what's happening in America. And um, kind of reminds you of the host of all the other great empires, like I said. And this is history, one way or the other. Um, and I'm saying all that, and I want to get to the meat and butter of what I'm talking about, is, you know, here we have, again, which is happening all over the country, which has happened all over the country for the last 400 years. <laughs> Jeez. Um, these Gestapo police and the behaviors of, it's just unacceptable. Anyway, this came out of Wauwatosa, and Alvin Cole's mother now was arrested. She's been complaining now of injuries and that the cop hit her in the head. The mother of Alvin Cole, a 17-year-old who was shot and killed earlier this year by a Wauwatosa police officer. Um, we believe he, the gun was planted in this case as well. Was a, allegedly. Uh, was arrested and injured Thursday night during a protest over the fact that no criminal charges will be filed in the case. The arrest of Tracy Cole, 48 and two daughters was caught on a Facebook live stream by a third grader. According to the recording starts at 8.28 p.m. with Cole being confronted by police and told to get out of her car. She's taken from the car and a phone remains inside the car, continuing to record audio of the arrest. Cole, 48, complains that she can't breathe numerous of times in the 18-minute clip. I'm Alvin's mother. Cole screamed repeatedly as officers pulled her out of the car and handcuffed her. I can't believe y'all did this to me. Y'all killed my son. She screamed to the officers, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Early on, a female voice is heard asking, why? Why are we getting arrested for? An officer, who is heard numerous times throughout the tape, responds, it states orders. States orders. Cole says her arm hurts about, at about, um, half minute mark in the audio and shortly after she's told she's under arrest she's then told to get on the grass and told you're going to get tased 
What follows is the apparent sound of a taser being deployed and Cole screaming, oh my God, oh my God, they tased me. Oh my God, I can't breathe. The officer orders her to put your hands behind your back. So she cuffs to go cuff so the cuffs go on. Roll to your side. I can't breathe, she said. Roll to your side. I can't breathe. At about the two minute mark, Cole says, Oh my God, I'm hurt. And she's sobbing. I can't breathe. My chest hurts. About a minute later, she is heard saying, he hit me in my head and pulled my hair. One of these cops over here, my head is bleeding. The officer who was previously heard giving Cole orders responds, well, that's too bad. Cole tells a paramedic that she needs medical attention and says, that cop, he hit me in my head. At the 520 mark, 21 mark, she says, I can feel the blood going down my head. An officer tells Cole he's going to switch these handcuffs and Cole screams in agony. Oh, my arm. I think my arm is broken, she said, adding, that cop throw me down, slam me and push me and pull my hair. Oh, my arm hurts. A few seconds later, a new voice is heard telling police officers, don't put cuffs on her. I'll take responsibility for her. Put her on the curb. I don't want her in the streets. Now, who could that be? Someone with some, with some authority? Somebody, what, what, who, who, who said that? Anyway. Uh. The officer's name is Joseph Menash. He was cleared in this fatal shooting. For those of y'all who don't know what happened, um, he shot this boy. He shot him. I believe this is the boy that got shot at the mall. Protesters marched in Wauwatosa around a line of police and National Guardsmen protecting them protecting the Wauwatosa City Hall. Now, remember, just down the road to the, what? South is Kenosha. Uh, District Attorney John Chisholm refused to issue charges against Wauwatosa Police Officer Joseph Mensah for the February Fatal shooting a 17-year-old Alvin Cole at Mayfair Mall. And, you know, this this uh, Chisholm, he has got to go. You know, we have got, listen, those of y'all in Milwaukee, I can't, I don't, I can't get out there with y'all like I used to. Can't do it. But y'all got to uh, uh, choose your fights wisely. Everybody should have been organizing. And you can start from this day to get Chisholm out of office, to get him out, vote him out. You gotta, you can still get him out. Get him out. Chisholm is a problem. He's uh, always have and always will uphold white supremacy. From the beating of Frank Jude, from when Mike McCann gave him the pass to put on to him. And said, this is how us racists, um, pretty much Irish, are going to keep running this city. And with that being said, you got a job to do, Chisholm. 
And he has always, always been on the wrong side of the people. Always. That boy basically got shot down for running. Because that's what he was doing. He was running from the police. And they shot him, if I remember the whole story correctly. Um, all this unacceptable craziness, violence, mayhem. And it, it's amazing to me that y'all don't see, um, not those of y'all who get it. I'm talking about y'all, yeah, the, the, the dummies that are so dumb, they can't see a coalition between Donald Trump and all this violence taking place. The turn up. The turn up. It's associated with a man that is ignorant. Um, excuse my French for a lack of better words. Trash. He's just got money. His morality is low. He sleeps with hookers. He, you know, he, listen, I don't, I don't need to go in to the Donald Trump's dump, dump behavior before he became president. So what I'm trying to say is all this lawlessness, this spirit of we can do whatever we want to do to you because we have been doing it and now we can just turn it back up again because it's almost like a rites of passage for us to kill one of y'all. We haven't, it's like a saying that go, unfortunately, I heard it on uh, Saturday Night Live. You'll get bigger if you stick it in a, you know. Okay. And also, a rites of passage is to be able to kill a real trophy like this. Like they passed Ahmaud Aubrey's picture around the neighborhood as a trophy killing. This is what they do. Donald Trump has this exasperated, this type of mentality. And y'all think that we don't need a black militia? We're dying anyway. You don't want a black militia? Huh? Somebody that's disciplined? I'm not talking about these yahoos out here wilding out. Shooting anything and everything that moves. I ain't talking about them that have no discipline or no no honor. I'm not talking about them. No respect. No formation. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about some well-disciplined men and women. Because this type of stuff, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. And I'm sorry, Miss Cole, that you got beat up. I mean, it's like how much how much tragedy can this woman take in this family? I'm sorry, you guys. I'll be back in the next video.